Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'll show you how you can set up uh, this interesting new feature of Octane uh, 2023, which is the analytical lights. It basically uh, creates light that will take into account the objects and elements that are put in front of it. So for example, here is a render, and you can see that the it creates god rays, sort of god rays that will uh, uh, intersect with uh, the objects that are in the path of the light and it will create this nice rays uh, for example here it's taking all the uh, displacement that I've uh, created here and uh, you get this nice uh, light here so uh, these lights are a post-process feature and to make it work you need uh, to play with the <coughs> post-process uh, options here, but also with uh, the um, parameters of the analytical light itself. And you can have uh, up to eight analytical lights in your scene. I think it will be easier to show you how it works on my default scene. I just added a few Suzanne here that will interact with uh, the light. So the first thing is to kill the world and to add a light. So, Octane Analytical Light, and I'm gonna put it here. And I will make it interact with the, with the monkeys, with the Suzanne here, like so. So go to the uh, light itself. Here I always put a Gaussian. So if you've taken my uh, Gamma tutorial, you, know, you probably know that you can change the color of the light with the Gaussian spectrum. And uh, you will click on Normalize Power and use in Post Volume. Very important, otherwise you won't get the proper result. And here, you press N and you go to your Octane uh, post process. Uh, do I have the bloom? Yeah, I have a bit of bloom. I'm going to take it out and I don't think I'm going to need the glare. And here you're going to activate the light beams and uh, the fog. And you need a bit of medium, so I'm going to put, uh, I don't know, 100. And for some reason, it doesn't work until you put the medium here at 0.1. And it's not like it's there's tons of settings for this. It's like 0.1 and that's it. Really, there's like, you don't have much choice. It's 0.1. So this is what I have. Maybe I can reduce this to uh, something less strong. Like so. And you're starting to see all the nice god rays that it creates with these monkeys uh, over my character. Um, you can change the aspect of the light. Here it's a um, just a plane. You can go to the, the parameter of the light here and you can decide if it's a quad or a disc or a sphere. I prefer the disc because it's softer on the um, on the exterior of the light. You can play with the spread. It can, it can be very uh, thin. Uh, it will uh, interact a bit more uh, with the objects within that uh, that uh, light, and you can play with um, hardness of the um, of the cutoff here uh, to to get the result you prefer on the ground. For example, here uh, it's going to be soft, and here it's uh, a bit more harder. It's uh, more like a circle. I think I'd prefer something like that. Maybe with a lower angle, like that. And um, 
Also, you can play with the size of your disk. Here it's for the quad, for the disk, for the sphere, because there's also a tube here. But uh, you can play with the size here. It can be five. Just gonna spread more light. Just leave so we can move it uh, higher, for example, and maybe uh, reduce the spread, which gives me an interesting look here. And I want to mention that the medium here is uh, will have an impact on the way your light uh, will look. If I put that at uh, 20, it disappears entirely. Uh, and yeah, at 25, I get this sort of uh, bowl-shaped light. I don't know how to call that. Uh, so you need to make sure the medium um, is set the way you want. This maybe you want that. I don't know, but that's uh, just wanted to tell you that the medium has an impact on the way your light uh, your light will look. So I would set it at uh, fifty or maybe a hundred. And uh, I want to show you a little trick of mine that I um, find found out um, and that I find very interesting. If you, instead of uh, throwing a Gaussian here and playing with the color of the light itself, if you slap uh, an image, for example, this is my uh, latest uh, artwork, you can just throw it in there, and uh, if you throw it into the texture, uh, you'll get these very interesting uh, colorful lights uh, with weird god rays. Uh, I don't know, maybe maybe one that I kind of like that type of uh, uh, you know interference with the light. It, it's I don't know, I find it more realistic somehow. It's 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 weird, but uh, I kind of like it. You can still play with the spread like this to make it softer, maybe. Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting way to create uh, lights, an interesting light source, like so. So this is my setup for uh, the analytical lights. I hope you learned something. If you did, please consider uh, liking and subscribing to my channel because I uh, won't spam you with uh, tons of stuff. But if you want to learn more uh, Blender Octane stuff, uh, you might want to consider subscribing. And uh, that's it for me. See you soon.